hello from RMF Classic Studio to all film music fans out there. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Magda. Hi, Hi. Hi, I'm Michal Matus. This is Magdalena Juszczyk. And we are having some special guests uh, today. Wszyscy fani Wiedźmina czekają na koncert Live from Studio, w którym usłyszymy muzykę z najgłośniejszego serialu Netflixa z zeszłego roku. I właśnie połączyliśmy się z twórcami tej muzyki, którzy są w Los Angeles. Sonia Belusowa, John Austinelli, good to see you despite the distance between us. <laughs> We're in Dharma of Classics and our listeners were expecting huge TV series gala uh, this year on Festival of Film Music. Uh, what were you preparing for this event that uh, would have taken place in Krakow if you were there? <laughs> well, we cannot well, spill all the beans right now the beans because right otherwise now, it's not going to be fun next, next year. Fun. But we're definitely year, preparing something definitely very, preparing very, 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 very special. special. And I'm sure the fans are going sure to love it, love it a lot. And uh, moreover, yeah. we're going to have uh, two moreover, very, very special two guests two very joining special us next year. It's going to be Lindsay Deutsch. Lindsay is a brilliant virtuoso, world class violinist. She performed all the virtuosic violin solos on the soundtrack uh, and we're just so excited to have her joining us next year. Uh, the other guest that we're bringing with us is Declan Dubar who is a writer and producer on this series and we have collaborated with Declan on several songs so we're just so excited to have both Lindsay and Declan with us next year. Absolutely. Absolutely. You said it perfectly. <laughs> I have nothing else to add unfortunately. <laughs> Could you could you tell us uh, which tracks uh, are you going to perform uh, this afternoon, uh, Polish afternoon, uh, but in Los Angeles early morning? So obviously next year's concert is going to be with the full orchestra and choir, but we really wanted to give our fans just a little glimpse of what's coming. And so... Uh, the two of us and Lindsay Deutsch, we will be performing three tracks. It's going to be uh, Geralt of Rivia, which is the main theme of our show, the main theme of The Witcher. Uh, the second track will be Tomorrow I'll Leave Blaviken for Good, which is Renfrey's theme in the show. And the last track will be The Song of the White Wolf. Polish film music fans, uh, RMF Classic listeners, um, are hmm, very emotionally connected to the Witcher series, the books and the series, TV series also. Are you aware of that? Absolutely. The whole response we received from Polish fans has been fantastic. All the feedback we received from them is just great. In fact, if I remember correctly, when we released the, the soundtrack and the song commercially, I believe we charted number one in Poland, both in the album category and in the single category. So it's just, it's so amazing. And we're just so grateful to all our fans in Poland for such a phenomenal response. And hence why it was also so important for us to premiere the music at the Krakow Film Music Festival, which is going to be next year. But today we're going to give this little glimpse. Mm -hmm. Was uh, somehow was po Poland uh, an inspiration for you uh, to this soundtrack? Tell us, please. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. 100 percent, because uh, The Witcher I think the Slavic feel and vibe is just so important to the Witcher. Uh, yeah, so absolutely, 100%. In fact, I'll tell you more. We have a scene uh, that happens in episode 4 in the show. Uh, and we were just so inspired by the Slavic culture and the Slavic vibe. So we really wanted to bring it into that specific scene. So the scene that I'm talking about is the scene uh, with the whole tornado in episode 4. Uh, and what we did in that scene, we recorded a choir uh, and the scene was asking for lyrics, but we didn't really want to create lyrics in a specific language. Uh, so we wouldn't, you know, affect the scene or, you know, conflict with the dialect. So what we decided to do, we decided to create a language. So it is a constructed language, but it's inspired by the group of Slavic languages. So Polish, Russian, Czech, you know, Ukrainian, all those languages. So if you listen, if you watch the show and if you listen to that scene, if you pay attention, you're going to hear lyrics, which are in fact uh, a constructed language inspired by the Slavic group of languages. 
this uh, Slavic part of the um, whole soundtrack is important for you as a uh, Russian and it was easier for you to feel this <laughs> vibe, Slavic vibe. <laughs> John, I'm sure that's a question for you. <laughs> hey, we have a lot of these influences in, in Italian and Swiss music, okay? Come on. No. <laughs> But I, yes, go for it. Yeah, 100%. Absolutely. You know, being Russian, we're neighbors. <laughs> so, of course, that was a very important part for me. And I think it came out very easily. Like, I remember doing the dances on the hurdy gurdy and all these things, how we were thinking about doing, you know, being influenced by Slavic music and how to incorporate it in the melodies, in the harmony structures of the music. 100%. John, is it easy for you to, uh, to you know, correspond to this uh, Slavic vibe? Do you feel it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's... Look, music is a universal language. Uh, I love, you know, Russian and Polish composers. Uh, so it's it was just such a great pleasure to just uh, dive into this uh, into this music universe into, yeah into this music universe and having Sonia you know she's extremely knowledgeable of course because she plays so much of this music and with her you know she just start playing you immediately hear the Slavic influences that she has and it's just amazing like we were thinking of the other day when arranging uh, fish Fishmonger's daughter, and we were thinking, oh, it sounds so Slavic. He has such Slavic influence. Yeah, so what John is talking about right now, we just did an in-studio solo piano concert where I performed arrangements of different themes from The Witcher, and one of these songs was The Fishmonger's Daughter. So it felt very interesting, because when you arrange it for piano, for some reason it immediately starts sounding very Slavic, very Polish, very Russian. So, yeah. Jonas Stinelli, Sonia Galusova, ready for today, live from studio show. Could you please invite our viewers uh, to this concert? Uh, you want to go first? You want me to go first? <laughs> you start going first. <laughs> so I would like everyone to uh, join us today for this wonderful concert that we're going to be performing. Uh, we were really looking forward to perform at this year's Krakow Film Music Festival. Unfortunately, as you know, life happens, so the concert has been postponed for next year. But we really, really wanted to give you a glimpse of what's coming next year. So everyone, please join us for today's performance. It's going to be fun. It's going to be very entertaining. Lindsay Deutsch will be joining us will be rocking on piano, violin, percussion, percussion. There is going to be a lot of instruments, a lot of wonderful music. So everyone join us. I promise you, you're going to love it. And even though we're not all in the same place, please start singing along with us, you know, with the song of the White Wolf and singing the melody of Geralt of Rivia, because we will. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Proszę Państwa, koncert z muzyką Wiedźmina z serialu Netflixa już dziś o godzinie 17. Na naszym Facebooku oczywiście i na rmfclassic.pl. Tam śledźcie też wszystkie wydarzenia związane z tym niezwykłym wydarzeniem, jakim jest Festiwal Muzyki Filmowej Online. Dziś także o 21.00 retransmisja najlepszych momentów z Międzynarodowej Galii Serialów z Festiwalu Muzyki Filmowej z 2015 roku. Słuchajcie i w radiu i w sieci. Do usłyszenia.